Good morning and welcome to A1 Vacuum and Sewing's live stream for Wednesday, April 17th. Is this, is this it? What's happening here? Uh, oh, Wednesday, look at that. There it is. April. All right. Back to posting it on, whoop, you're moving our stuff around there, lady. <laughs> what are you doing? Good morning. I am putting right, it on Facebook. I will in one second. Patrick started off by telling me um, that uh, Red from Yellowstone had. Uh, where did you read that? It was. Uh, it showed up in my Instagram feed. He said before, something about before he got married, he was smashing into the back of cars, like being facetious, right? Yeah. Like that he really did it, but now that he's married, what did he say? <laughs> well, he basically was like, thank God I have you, because before I met you, I was smashing into cars <laughs> after they broke, were we're breaking, you know, 100 feet away. Which, which means that... Thank God you um, scream and... And grab the sides of the car every time somebody breaks a hundred yards away from us. Okay, so that means it's a, it's a common thread that all men drive scary and almost crash into the back of the cars in front of them, and or, all wives or all wives completely overreact while uh, driving. No, no, because you know that when you grab on and you scream, that's involuntary. It's not overreaction. That is your body making an involuntary response so what you're to feeling is as though you're going to die. Women have an irrational, involuntary <laughs> response. Because <laughs> I have that, I too have that same response. And what happened, and I try, I try not to, because he is so mad. Because it scares you when there's nothing to be scared about. Oh, yeah, there Yesterday is. we were driving out of the parking lot. And he was looking down. He was we were driving down. out of the parking lot. I go, there's and a guy there. And she's like, <gasps> I didn't do that. I go, there's a guy there. And you were like, did you see that? Is the way yeah. that you said it. I might have said, did you see so that? And so I'm guy? like, what am I looking for? The guy was behind a car, but he was also like 60 feet away. That is a lie. Okay, he was on the sidewalk within our like range, and you were looking down. Anyways, um,. Because, uh, you know, before I met you, I hit pedestrians all the time. He's lucky. He's lucky he had I'm me. I'm so lucky he that I had you right there. He could be going to jail right now for vehicular manslaughter or something because he was looking <laughs> down. And I saved him from jail I, time. I, yes, that's exactly what happened. Sandra <laughs> Sandra understands. Is that Sandra? If it's you. She gets it. Well, no, she she's saying that her husband drives like a maniac. Mine does too. We were in. I'm we a were, very safe driver. We were going the in Salt Lake City. We were driving in the opposite lane. I mean, in the oncoming traffic. Well, because somebody else didn't <laughs> have their turn signal. That on. has nothing to do with who cares about it. We uh, we, we were, were turning into. And then we had to drive up and over the median. Were, did we get in an accident? No, but this is this is the guy who's telling you he's a safe driver. He, he is, I don't think I've ever seen Patrick speechless. I, that was no, the first time you know, in my entire life we, with we Patrick. Pulled out, 24 years. We and pulled we, out into a busy street where there the was. In the wrong, in the opposite. Where in, there was like traffic. one break in the median to get through and a car turned in to take a left-hand turn. So the median so was You blocked. don't even need to understand. So I avoided that car. <laughs> I no, avoided no, that car. He didn't even know we were in the wrong lane. And drove over the median. 
Until we were oh, like, oh my god, my we're god. in the wrong lane. No, I knew what I was doing. But I had nowhere to go. <laughs> we were like, oh bleep. We're in the wrong lane. <laughs> we're driving into oncoming traffic. Oh bleep. All this Okay. From somebody who needs a translator from English to English. I did need a translator from English to English the other day. What were you watching? Some they were. She's like, I can't understand it. They're speaking English. I was like, like, Patrick, what? I need a translator. What is your from problem? English to English. Um, I have an auditory problem. Like, if you ever talk to me on the phone and I'm like, can you spell that? I need you to spell really slowly and three letters at a time. If you give it to me fast, I only get like one or two letters. But if you give me numbers, I can translate that. So it's my it's my brain. And I have no – you know what? I have no problem admitting my flaws. But when you when you, I say something about you, you get so defensive. Well, when you call me a bad driver – Cause I'm not lately, a bad driver. Lately, okay. So <laughs> yesterday, I I've always said you're like the best driver ever until lately. Feeling like. Have you ever been in an accident with me? Almost. M- many. Okay. So <laughs> so yesterday was our anniversary. We're gonna show you some pictures so you could see the young, the young. Patrick and Jeannie, we got married in Las Vegas. And growing up in the East Coast, don't take this wrong, but I was like, a Vegas wedding? You know, you have those images of the Elvis and uh, the Elvis impersonator and, like, the little, like, like the hangover, except not quite as cool. You know what that I'm talking about? That would have been about? more fun. That would have been so much fun. <laughs> We could have gotten, like, face tattoos. So this, here's a wedding picture. We could have picture. stolen Mike Tyson's tiger. Yeah, that would have been so much fun. Then look at Patrick with his, like, dark hair and, like, I pretty much look the same. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, oh, Alice, does that just drive you crazy? Doesn't have a... <laughs> Alice... So we're, and the husbands are, the husbands, there's, you can see so many jokes about the wives being so scared, but you don't see that for the husbands. Husbands aren't scared because their wives are excellent drivers. No, because every time (laughs) the husband goes to get in the car, the wife's like, you drive, I'm scared to drive. Okay, here we are walking down the aisle. (laughs) Isn't that funny? And do you see that guy over my head? That's our friend Steve. Maybe you recognize him. He was in a boy band in the what in the seventies. He was or the, he was in the boy band Virgin. Does anyone remember that the boy band? The original boy band Virgin. I I don't. Steve know sometimes all. watches the live stream, Steve which we don't realize. Run. Like every now and then, like we'll get a call from Steve, and and he's like, "Here's that speed." Here, he'll this bring is- stuff up, and I'm like, "What is going on?" And he's like, "I watch your live stream." This is us looking at each other so in love. Look how in love we are. We're both like, oh my God, are we so in love? This is right. (laughs) Don't you look at that? You go, and we're like, we're so lucky. That's that look. Patrick, don't forget this. When you're mad at me in the car, I want you to think about this look that you're so in love. Yep. I was, I, look, I've been friends with Lynn for 14 years today. Lynn's my friend. But I was looking at this, so I was like, I was sure that this would pop up yesterday, and it did, but it popped up later in memories, meaning... So, why are you doing that Well, right I was going to show them the, the, the wedding picture that's above our... We don't even have it hung up, do we? It's above our... Mantle. So, um, we were going to talk to you about the quilt show. We were. What were we going to talk about? We're we're going to the quilt show. Yeah, last night you're like we're going to talk to them about the quilt show, and now you pretend like. I don't remember the conversation last night. Should I be worried? (laughs) Okay, so um. So we are doing the, because somebody said they didn't hear us mention, we haven't talked about it at all. We are doing the Reno Quilt Show. It's going to be at the GSR, the Grand Sierra, 
which uh, if you've never been to Reno, it's like um, it's like one of the casinos, but they have all these. Uh, it's a hotel, uh, casino, yes. entertainment venue. So if you want to get your gamble on, don't ask me. I don't even know how. What, or what, see a good concert. Yeah, they or have hang out really, by the pool. They've really, and yes, you can Isn't hang out by the pool. Isn't there like a billion pool? dollar investment going in over there? They're building that whole entertainment complex. Reno's really cool. If you've never been to Reno before, Reno's, Reno, remember Re, Reno 911? It really. I spent, I spent the first 20 years we lived here explaining to people how we ended we up in Reno. Cause, and then they'd go, Reno 911, ha <laughs> ha. And now everybody thinks Reno's cool. Yeah, Reno is Reno's super cool. We're about 45 minutes from Tahoe. Right? Yeah. And uh, there's multiple ways to get up there. And um, you know what I think is really... Most involve me driving. Yeah, and me almost <laughs> thinking I'm going to die. But I'd rather have Patrick di- drive anyways then we'll because then we'll go down Because I'm a safer to- we'll driver. Because go- we-, we can go down together like in the notebook. <laughs> like over the cliff, just staring into each other's eyes. That's not like the notebook. That's yeah, but I just mean they just died together. Thelma and Louise. <laughs> yeah, we'll be like that. I don't know why you're like. This is this is how we translate for Jeannie. Yesterday when I ordered dinner, <laughs> oh my god, I asked for so we so Patrick's mom. She has an auditory problem. <laughs> Where she can't listen to what people are saying. Or and speak. so And so, we should tell the mix-ins. <laughs> no! <laughs> we'll save that for this summer. But um, I, or I, Patrick said, he asked me to order, so I, I called, and then you'd think he would help me out. I was like, well, like was too I, much asked for, <laughs> I asked for the blackened salad. She's like, I want the blackened salad. And then she gets frustrated. Like that's not true. I want the blackened salad. <laughs> you make me sound like a jerk. We, the, we were. I didn't get frustrated. I was like, she was like, what was it? I go the blackened salad, and then I was like, <laughs> I started laughing, and I was like, oh my god, I mean the blackened salmon salad. And then she and I both. Well, started no. Laughing. Then she said the blackened Caesar salad. Oh yeah. <laughs> and and that was said a couple of times. It was it took a little while to get to the He was listening salmon. the whole time. Why wouldn't he help me and say salmon? Black and salmon. Why wouldn't you help me? Why would you just let me I kept going black and salad, black and Caesar. I totally forgot salmon. And you didn't help me. You were like, you made and you know what he did? This morning he made fun of me. He was, he was like, I'd like the black and salad. <laughs> and he made, and we were laughing. Was, so it brought her joy because she was smiling. <laughs> it did. I was like, that was, how could I forget? Who orders a black and salad? This girl. This girl orders a black and salad. Okay. Um, so the quilt show is, the hang on. 13th, 14th, and 15th. It is a Thursday a Friday and a Saturday. And we are busy during that time. So uh, it's go time like the week before, the week of, and the week after. It's um, basically for a month around it. We're busy. Yeah, for a month around it. Because we do usually end up selling a ton of machines if you want any deals. So June 13th, 14th, 15th. These are at this are at the shop. So $2 off your admissions. With this, and maybe we'll start um, giving away some. We'll give away to, the the tickets because we to, do have local, free to free local tickets to local ladies, ladies and ladies that are going. People that are traveling to go, so that sounds delicious. The the black and salad sounds delicious. Patrick got it. He got the black and because we've been eating like college kids. Like the other night, we got home and I made chicken tenders. Well, first I went downstairs to the freezer and I opened it up and I go, oh, Patrick brought me onion rings. I love onion rings. I'm the worst eater. I was like so excited. And then I realized they were dino bites, which was an accident, <laughs> which was, which we, we that ordered, was an accidental I ordered, purchase. I didn't order from, uh, I didn't order from Costco because we wanted fruit, but like. 
we have we were Instacart people, and and uh, I had to get my order enough to get food, so I ordered cereal, frozen pizzas, chicken tenders, but they were out of chicken tenders, so they brought me Dino Bites. Five pounds. And and uh, there was one other thing. And I refused to throw them away. And then and then. It was funny because when the woman arrived, I said to Jeannie something. She commented on the house and then she said something like she was on the phone with her friend. And then she said something to her friend. And I was like, no, I'm married. We were laughing. And then I was like, it was a single guy order. Remember that? Oh, oh yeah. Because the, cause the Instacart delivery person asked him if he was married or single. Because that's the vibes he puts out. I, that never happens. It's because to me. it's because I like, ordered. My vibes are like you're I'm delivering. Taken. You're delivering to a dude at a house who bought cereal, <laughs> Dino bites, <laughs> and frozen pizzas. Yeah. Avocados, strawberries, and oranges. That's what we've been eating. So the Dino bites. It's taking us a long time <laughs> to get through this. And every time the kids come home, I'm like, we're eating Dino bites for lunch today. <laughs> And it's just like they're like two again. I'm like, you're eating ten. You're eating ten. I'll have five and Violet will have five. And then we eat Dino Bites and bag salad. We've been, it's. That's just, it's been it busy. Is it sad? No. Because it's different, right, when it's just two of you? We haven't We've been. been eating fine, except we're like back to like. Yeah, head We've been down. back to like head down, balls to the wall work because Jeannie's been feeling better and it, it, we're making up for lost time. Uh, Margaret, you can come to my house for Dino Bites. I got a five pound bag. I don't know if you've seen that before, but it's like this big. It's got like 2,000 Dino Bites in and it. And you thought it was onion rings? I did. I saw it at first and I was like, oh, Patrick bought me onion rings. He loves me. And then I was like, oh, it's that darn bag of Dino Bites. <laughs> So anyhow, yes. Um, if anyone is interested, yeah. See, Cindy agrees. Like, cause I was, I we were talking about it after this whole experience, and 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 Jeannie's like, "Those are the vibes you put out," and I'm like, "I yeah. wasn't. I just walked out He's to like, get. Hey, ladies. I just walked out to get hey, the ladies, order. You got and, my Instacart. And, <laughs> and then I'm like, I ordered. I kind of went through the things I ordered. I was like, I'm sure. They were talking about the house is really what they were talking about. She wanted to come hang out at the fire pit with Patrick and eat Dino Bites. And uh, and I was like, I was like, I'm sure Dino she was on the phone beer. with her friend. And I'm sure she's telling her friend I'm making this delivery, <laughs> which seems like this guy's 22. I would, living you know by what? Himself. Those vibes to me would have been like, oh, dad, because who buys Dino Bites? Dad, I look too old to be married, a dad. Married, married men buy dino bites for their children unless you're putting off the vibes oh there was a case of beer in there too. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right let's talk about the um, quilt show let's talk about the quilt show for a yes. second so um you heard us say it before and i'm going to say it a second time just in case anybody missed it when we said it last week um pricing on the luminaire is really good right now you know what we like, were told we were told there were 85 luminaires left 85 in the entire world and so that and then said you'll never be able to get them again but but i felt like we heard similar things about yeah. The Destinies and the Dream when Machines. They, when they were discontinuing when, the, the Dream Machines, they told us the th same thing. They were like, there's only so many left. And, and then, then they, when they're gone, they're gone. And, and then, then they proceeded to make them for another 18 months. But if it's true. So so this is not a like fire sale kind of thing. What I was saying last week remains true. Some of you have decided I want to get the new machine. That's great. We're, we're figuring out our event and everything else. Oh, they called me yesterday. So um, some of you have decided, no, I'm not going to get the new machine. And if that's the case and you're interested in a Luminaire, call us now. It's a good time to do it. Trade-in prices will be great. Um, and as of the moment, it seems like 
uh, machine numbers may be limited. And that said with the caveat that we've been through this before. Um, you never know. You never know. us on our toes. You never know. You never know. Um, the, uh, and then, you know, the, the third aspect of that is realizing that there will be some trade-in machines, um, where, you know, there may be used luminaires and solarises in the near future. In fact, starting next week, I will have a used solaris. So part of the reason we're talking about the quilt show right now is if the top of the line machine, i.e. Stellar, uh, you know, Luminaire, like I'm going to have a used Meridian as of next week as well. So if those things are of interest, reach out. Like I have a couple of phone calls still to make today and, uh, and we're, you know, we, we just basically need to get um, through those calls. Yesterday was busy. Yesterday and, was um, busy. And so, um, you know, a handful of folks have reached out about pricing and I will reach out. Um, when are when are we going to find out about the new machine? In September. A September? August. At like August. 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 So we find so, out about the new machine. Um, we'll do back to business. Are, are we going? Yeah, we have to. When is it? We have to. So, anyways, the uh, so the um, so the the new machine, like we'll get little dribs and drabs of stuff that are happening in the new machine, but nothing will be confirmed until we go back. To business and we'll be and at back to business. We'll be like filming, like, oh my god, look at this new machine! It's amazing. So and sending so, you videos and live feeds. So the um, so the um, so that's when we'll find out about that stuff, and that's when we'll talk about it. Um, getting back to what I was saying, you know, starting now is a great time to kind of look as we see these prior top of the line machines um, essentially become not top of the line. And like I said, like y those are your three choices. Like you can buy new. It's a great time to do that because the pricing is really good. Like we saw a significant price reduction at the start of, of April. Um, you can wait to see used. I'll start having used machines as of next week. And, um, and you know, if you just want to wait and evaluate and figure it out later, that's fine too. But, um, well, so the luminaire is still active, still current, but there's a new platform coming. And so it, like, it's, it's misleading to say discontinued. It's just, there's going to be a new top of the line machine in the platform. And so, um, you know, those are the things uh, to, to be aware of. And if you're interested in talking about pricing, it's a great time to do it now. I know there are machines available. And like I said, I, like I called Jeannie and I was like, there aren't there are many machines left. We need to do something. Yeah, I was like, Let's and then I was bunch. like, well, yeah, but then the last time that happened, they made it for like they basically were like back by popular demand for the next 18 months. So, um, so we don't know, like, we don't know. So you could, if you're, if you've been thinking about getting one, I would just get it and not have to worry about whether or not it's like, it's this game they're playing with us. What do you mean? <laughs> Where they're like, we only have this many left and then you buy and they're like, oh, and they're like, oh, it was so them. popular. We, or we made more. Um, so, uh, so just be aware of what's going on because those are really your choices. But it is a good time to yeah. grandpa's buy Dino Bites, Patrick. That's what I'm saying. So so and anytime you get a, a, a machine, um, you know, you they come out every August is when they release new machines. And you never know. Usually the top of the line, we always talk about this. They usually have it for like four to six years and then they'll come out with a new machine. I mean, the Elisimo, was that eight years? The Elisimo was long. Like, the Elisimo Quattro machines were long. And then the Destiny was short. 
Destiny but, for sure. But there was some hardware stuff with the Elisimo where they actually added hardware to the Elis- Elisimo and changed the and stuff. And Luminaire's from the been medium. It'll have been six years, five years, six years. Uh, it'll be six years. Yeah. Like it's like six to seven years on average. FOMO. So. Yeah, I you know I look at it. I go, I I'm I'm like somebody that doesn't need to have the latest and greatest, but I get the latest and greatest because I'm a yeah, shop Yeah, Jeannie owner. will have a used machine in August. But I love that machine. It's been an amazing, yeah. amazing machine. Yes. So um, that's the machine where all the magic has happened for the past. Oh, actually, mine's, did I, do I have the? You, you, have, the, the th- you have the XP3. I have the XP3. Yeah. So I've ha- I'd had the XP1 and then I had the XP3. Yeah. Yeah. We Patrick traded. And then he we traded, traded me out. Um, how can they improve the Luminaire? I don't know, right? I like so from what I'm hearing, there's a lot to be said, but it is no heavier. It's no heavier. Uh <laughs> So I may or may not have heard a couple things so far, but I, you haven't told me anything. It's a secret. I'm good. You know what? I'm going to have secrets then. If you're going to have secrets, I'm going to have secrets. You know how to get my secrets. What? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. Oh my God. Stephanie. I've always said marriage is a long-term bartering situation. (laughs) It's a long-term trade. You just consistently work out trades. Okay. Back to scheduled programming. (laughs) I'm sorry you had to hear that. Um, So we have had people out of town ask about, like, coming to the the event, coming to the um, quilt show. Um, Yeah, please come to the quilt show. It'll be fun. We're busy at the quilt show. So, um, like, it's hard for us to socialize in the booth, although we'll love to see everybody. I think it's a fantastic quilt show. Patrick are, are, and I are there. To, we are hustling. We're out on the floor and meeting people and seeing what kind of machines we can get for you. And uh, and he doesn't even let me, like, last quilt show because I like to walk around, like, just take one loop. We didn't have do, time last Maybe do show. a little bit of shopping, and our quilt show isn't huge. And he didn't even let me do that last year. The only shopping I got to do was, like, the boots, like, right around us. And that was it. And I think I did walk down one aisle. I walked down one aisle and ran back. And that was, like, how I do my shopping these days. So, um, uh, okay. So, Cindy, I mean, uh, Stephanie asked about the NQ3700, if that's a good backup machine. So, whenever we talk NQ3700D, or if somebody wants a backup sewing machine, we talk about the 1350. And the reason for that is smaller format, but you have the majority of the features that you get really used to. So, it's got a great threader. It's got uh, the automatic fabric thickness sensor. Um so it sews beautifully. It's got directional sewing. It's a fantastic backup machine. And um, uh, the used um, Aventura is gone. Sold it. We sold it. But um, Stephanie, come and see me, and I'll make you a crazy deal on a 3700 You know what's D. nice about it is it has a 5x7 and a 6x10 hoop. So you can do a lot of projects in it, um, and it's a great sewing machine, too. Well, now with Art Spira, they have positioning and stuff like that in Art Spira. How do you do positioning on it? Hey, Michelle, can you do a Technique Tuesday on using Art Spira to do positioning on the wireless machines that don't have a camera? Or or just the 3700. Let's just do it on the 3700. I think that would be amazing. Yeah, let's do that. That's amazing. So, 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 yeah, so you've got that uh, ability on those machines. And um, I'm not sure it's going to work on that. It works on the stitch, but I haven't tried it on the other machines, but we'll try it. Cool. Yeah. I don't, I know nothing about it. That's something they could add. So, we are sworn to secrecy, Michelle. 
but uh, I'm talking to Michelle Kelly. Oh, well, um, I want to know too if it's so. Different. So uh, <laughs> we really, I and we really haven't heard much. So um, yeah. So Ladonna's saying that she's got the XP3 and the 3700, and they embroider very similarly. So yeah, fantastic machine. For use with, and size. with something like and, that and the size too if you want to like take it on a trip i we did like a trip to big sky and um and that's what i took was a was a 3600 at the time or something like yeah. that so yeah it's a fit and can we ship those we can ship them we can ship them too so um if you're ever like i know a lot of people are in areas where you don't have a dealer or where the dealer has closed i've heard a lot of areas like that and um Reach out to us because we, we can always can always ship you a machine. Hey, and, uh, Momo, come on, um, Momo. come here. Yeah, we can always ship you a machine, and we can support come that here. machine because Momo. we do our classes online, so we can help you out with that. I wish they'd allow more machine activations for Art Spira. I haven't even hooked mine up, but is it only one? Are you only allowed one? Diane McCormick, a juki dealer. There's no dealership here. I'll have to talk to Patrick so about that. So we have had conversations, but we were design? a little, uh, we were a little, somebody asked about Juki and, and there have been ongoing conversations, but quite frankly, I view another brand as another mouth to feed. And with everything that we had going on through last fall, I was very happy just to focus on, uh, on brother and, and do that. Um, I do want to, to mention i'm ready to to move that coronet oh yeah we have a coronet so in the store. i have a coronet in the store uh it's been our display machine it's been in the store for probably three or four years and um things have gone really well kind of working with and partnering with a long arm dealer uh, who I think is one of the better long arm dealers in the in the country, and so I'm ready to move that coronet. So I'm gonna be selling our display coronet for thirty nine hundred. Wow! And so uh, if you're interested in a small format long arm, sixteen inch long arm, excellent uh, stitch regulator, and a five foot frame. Um, Crazy. that is, you know, a great price and a, and a great deal. Um, and Roxanne, we haven't been up to big sky since you moved up there. Um, we don't, let's see. We're, we're, uh, yeah. Um, there are multiple, but I have machines at two locations and travel machines. I know first world problems. Um, if we buy from you and live in a, another state who can and will service the machine where I live. That's a good question. So it comes down to, do you have baby lock or brother dealers in your area? Um, but the reality is it's becoming an online world. You're seeing more and more machines. Like when we bought the store, you couldn't sell any machines online. And, uh, and you know, you couldn't send machines anywhere. Now all but the Luminaire and the Solaris are pretty much online and the 10 needles so the bigger question is how close are you to a dealer who's capable of servicing that? Um, you are still going to do amazing classes for the Lumi. Absolutely. Um, the same way that there are people on the live stream right now that still have destinies, dream machines, stellaires. You don't like, it's not like when that stuff happens, what you're going to see is additional technology. You're not going to see the technology that exists in the Lumi disappear. Um, that's probably my coronet. It never that had one. a problem with it. Diane, I sold your coronet a about year ago. five days after I got it, I think. Yeah. Um, so this is the, our store demo. This is our store it's, demo. It's, uh, it's, it's essentially brand new. Like you'd be registering it as new with... Um, as new with the uh, with the full warranty and everything from is Baby the thirty seven hundred D you're talking about the thirty seven hundred D is sewing and embroidery, 
the there embroidery is only version is what 1700 the nq 1700e the, and, and if you want pricing on either of those, Joanne, you can just give us a call. Yeah, that or one. Patrick that one generally you. sells uh, like that one sells online for like two grand, and I could do it for a little bit less than that, or twenty four ninety nine, or something like that. Um, and uh, there is an embroidery only version of the thirty seven hundred D. Like I said, you've got the uh, the seventeen hundred. Um, what else do we have to talk about? Nothing. Sergers should Nothing. we mention just I asked you yesterday you you decide because I asked you yesterday. So you decide. I'll we'll just say if anybody has been looking at the amazing baby lock deals for Sergers, let us know cuz cuz um we're happy to discuss Sergers with you. Um and anything else to discuss this week? No, uh, we've been so busy because everyone wants to celebrate our anniversary with us. So uh, two nights ago, we went out with friends. Last night was with Patrick's mom and uh, stepdad. And then um, I'm hoping I'll have some more time. So um, tonight's going to be a quiet evening at home eating like people without kids. <laughs> <laughs> Eating dino bites. Dino bites. <laughs> Plate of dino bites and uh, ketchup. You're on my list of folks to call, Lynn. All right. Um, so. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm really excited because there's so I mean, Michelle has an amazing class that's coming up. And I'm hoping to have something, you know, decent. Um, I'm working on like a couple of classes. So I'm, I'm like thinking, I'm hoping I have time. That's is it. your... Uh, is your sew along continuing? Yes. Sew when? along will be on Monday. Monday, uh, nine or ten o'clock, and I'll I'll figure it out on. Uh, I mean, a lot of it has to do with you, because that's the dogs. They make it really hard. Just saying. Okay. Have a great day. Be creative. I and love make my baby lock serger and beer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! You know what? We could we could accommodate that. We'll we'll do we'll do um, a surgery class and we'll drink at the same time, which to me leads to a lot of like seam ripping, but um, but it could be really fun too. Uh, let's uh, we'll see you tomorrow, and um, maybe tonight I can get some stuff done, and um, and we can talk about it tomorrow. Have a great day. Be creative. Make something awesome, and we will 